So we have a 45 year old male who's a smoker, diabetes and hypertension. Two days ago, he had a sudden onset chest pain and it was really terrible, but he said it's going to be fine. So he stayed at home. Today, he comes in after two days with severe dyspnea, diaphoresis and syncope. And it was terrible to the fact that they intubated him. The patient is hypotensive, tachycardic, and he has a holosystolic murmur, three out of six maximal at apex and has bilateral crackling. Okay, so uh, first view is the parasternal long axis view. We can see the left ventricle, left atrium, and the ascending aorta. Okay, um, you can appreciate that there is something flying in the middle of the ventricle and coming back. And this thing seems to be attached to one of the mitral valve leaflets. Looking again at the ventricle itself, you would think that probably there's an area that is not really contracting well. Let's look at the short axis view. Okay. Again, you can see that there is flopping into the left atrium. You would say probably there is some contractility abnormality. Not all the ventricle is contracting symmetrically. Let's look at the four apical four chamber view. We're going to have to increase the depth. All right. Same thing. You can appreciate that there's something flopping around. If you stay on this view and we put a Doppler, you might be able to recognize that there's a blue color coming through this side and this is usually MR, acute MR. Blue means away from your probe. So this is telling you that there is blood coming from the left ventricle into the left atrium. And this should never happen because the valve should close and prevent that from happening. Let's look at the subcostal view. Here you can see again that there's something flopping around. Let's look at the IVC. Okay, it looks okay. Maybe a little bit dilated. All right, so all in all, if we look at this case again, patient who had sudden chest pain two days ago, did not show up to the hospital and now has um, has been short of breath for the last three days and he's uh, swollen, is hypotensive and tachycardic. So with what we've seen in the echo, we have something in the mitral valve that is flopping into the LV and into the LA. So this is most likely a papillary muscle rupture secondary to an acute MI that has not been treated. This case is rare to be seen nowadays because if someone has chest pain, they usually go to the hospital. No, everyone would show up to the hospital, get a cath and get reperfused and we will not end up with this um, uh, complication. But uh, this is a patient that uh, is really sick, got intubated and we should be calling surgery on him.